In 1908, one of the biggest discoveries in astronomy changed how we measure distances and how we understand the universe. My name is Kalai Abrams, and today I'm going to be talking about Cepheid variable stars. So what is a Cepheid variable star? Cepheid variable stars, or we'll just call them in this video variable stars, are periodic stars that vary in brightness, but they do it periodically. Basically meaning they are very, very predictable. So after maybe three days, they can, they can have a certain brightness, have a high brightness, high luminosity, and then after the same amount of days, they'll have, go down and then so on and so forth. So variable stars are very predictable. They can vary in luminosity about 500 to 30,000 times the luminosity of our sun and be about five to 20 times the mass of our sun. So so what made this discovery so important is it's just another way of measuring distances different from another method that we've known for a very long time. So the person that discovered variable stars was a lady named Henrietta Swan Levitt. A couple things about her is that Henrietta got the boring work where she had to collect all of the data and document it. But one of, one of the amazing things is that sometimes the people who are collecting the data can notice trends, find patterns, and actually make discoveries as well. So she was a researcher in Harvard studying what we now call um, Cepheid variable stars. Levitt discovered a correlation between the period of the star and how bright they get. But first, I need to talk about another method for measuring the distances of stars. So if you're unfamiliar with the parallax method of measuring how far away stars are, astronomers look at a certain point a star, a certain point in the sky, a star, obviously. Six months later on the other side of the sun, they will look at that same star and there will be a small difference in angles. And by doing so, you'll be able to make a triangle and triang triangulate how far away the star is. First, we know how far away the stars are and um, we can triangulate them with a very high level of certainty. Uh, this method only works for stars that are within our galaxy and the far and beyond our galaxy when they're farther away, the difference in angles between two points from one side of the sun to the other to triangulate how far away that star is, is so minute, it's really hard to measure the distance. So this is where Henrietta Levitt comes in and her research, finding out more about variable stars. So she was a researcher at Harvard and in her lifetime, she discovered 2,400 stars. So she, when she looked at variable stars within her galaxy, she could measure the period of the star and she found a linear relationship between the period of the star and how bright it was. So the longer the period of the, of the star, the more bright it was and the shorter the period of the star, the less bright it was. This is important because for stars beyond our galaxy, that we haven't, that in that time that weren't discovered yet until Hubble. Um, stars beyond our galaxy, the method of, of looking at variable stars and assuming their brightness by their period helped us um, determine how far away they are. Okay, this is the end of the video. It's just a short video. Hopefully they will get longer and better and more detailed. So tell me what you think of it. And one last fact about Henry Levitt while I was doing research for this video. She was not awarded a Nobel Peace Prize for her work because she unfortunately died of cancer before she could get awarded. It's so sad, but thank you for watching. <laughs> I just like talk about it. So thank you for watching. Okay, <laughs> keeping that in the video. Uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully I'll make better videos about science. Um, hopefully entertaining, so thank you.